YouTube! Today I'm going to show how to do your bronze crest award, which I did with an outreach program called Making Materials Matter. My actual bronze crest experiment is already uploaded and the link is up here so do check it out if you want to see it. I recorded it with details on what is good to include and I also conducted my own scientific experiment so you might also find that interesting. So check it out! So let's start! award is run by the British Science Association and you can read all about it by going to their website which the link is up here. Basically you can do anything that is related to STEM and is for ages 5 to 19 so very varied. You have to pay a bit of money to do it and you also need to join some sort of group which is most likely going to be at your school. You have to have a group organizer slash teacher which will guide you well most of the time. So if you have a bit of interest in the STEM subjects, it is a nice thing to do and it's good for your educational CV, hopefully. So when you submit any work, I strongly recommend that you check the criteria for specific points to hit, otherwise you may waste a lot of time for yourself and your teacher slash mentor. If you just hit these points, you will find that you do your work much faster since you aren't doing anything that you don't need to do. For the bronze level, your organizer is the one that actually checks the work so it's more like you will get the bronze award without any problems. Here is the bronze crest assessment grid and it shows all your criteria and some of the bits are very very detailed and complex. For example explain in detail what you found out about the project and what effect it might have and then there are others that say some general things like it is clear and I have a clear and broad understanding of the project. You need to show these short statements such as I made and acted on my decisions in a safe way throughout or you could just end up putting it all in the end but it's better just to mention them throughout. I had a bit of a different start from this because I was already doing an experiment for a wonderful outreach program called Meeting Materials Matter. Link is up here so do check it out if you want to see it. Others in my school had also been chosen to do this outreach program, but they had already done their Bronze Crest Award, so I decided to submit this experiment by myself. So basically, after my research and experiment for making materials matter, I had to add on some missing parts of the project using this grid to submit my Bronze Crest Award. This is my actual submission, and I chose to do it on a PowerPoint because I was trying to make a PowerPoint presentation for making materials matter, and I just edited the presentation and submitted it like this. So this is my project, as you can see it is quite detailed and I made sure to add all of my sources at the bottom of some of the slides, as you can see probably as you go through. And I also used some visual evidence since it is always good to have some pictures since it also keeps the people who are seeing it more entertained than just seeing words and words and words. I also did have a video, so it's always to have visual aids since that's what normally keep people invested and interested. I also clearly set out my work in lists and as you can see by each title, you can see that I've labelled each one as 1A, 2A. As you can see throughout, I have always put the title of the page as one of the criteria points. So therefore the teacher can easily and efficiently check that I've done every single point. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I recently got the Silver Crest Award for my Youth Industry Strategy Competition submission. This is a nine part YouTube series, which I really worked really hard on. So if you'd want to watch it, the link is up here. I really do recommend you watch it since I think it is quite an interesting idea. I'm going to share the results of the competition very soon. So please subscribe and hit the notification down at the bottom. Also like the video if you did really like it since the YouTube algorithm will share this video with more people. Also, there is the big problem about the coronavirus going now, and if you are affected, I am very sorry, and I hope that you will get better soon. Please be safe and hygienic, everyone. Bye!